In this video, we're going to show you a way to install Moonlight on your Samsung Tizen TV. If you're already a bit familiar with this technology, you're in the right place. If not, you can check out our previous video here. So, your device updated itself to Tizen 8, and now your custom apps don't work anymore. It's frustrating, but there's a reason for this. They probably want to make sure that random people on the internet can't distribute binaries that could have malicious functions for your device. It's all about keeping your TV secure. This mini guide should be applicable to any Tizen version at or above version 5.5. This guide is demonstrated on Windows, but the steps can be adapted for Linux and Mac users as well. Let's get started. First, we'll need to install some tools. Install Git. This allows us to clone the Moonlight repository. Install CMake. Download it from the CMake website. Choose the Windows X64 installer and follow the installation prompts. Install Samsung's Emscripten. Download it from Samsung's website. Extract it to see tools so that it looks like. This will be used to compile the app for your TV. Install Tizen Studio 6. Download it with the IDE installer from Tizen Studio. During installation, ensure that your path variable includes the Tizen directories. For example, we'll only use Tizen Studio to generate the Samsung certificate. Next, we'll verify that everything is installed correctly. Open a command prompt window. Run the following commands one at a time. Each command should execute without errors. After that, you're all set. Now, we'll set up some necessary components in Tizen Studio. Launch Tizen Studio. Navigate to Tools Package Manager. Install the following, Certificate Manager, Samsung Certificate Extension, Web App Tools. Now, let's connect your computer to your TV. Turn on your TV and enable developer mode. Find the device DUID. Open Tizen Studio Device Manager. In the Remote Device Manager, add the IP address of your TV and port 26101. Turn on the connection. Right-click the TV and click DUID. Take note of the DUID. You will use it for the certificate. Create a certificate using the Certificate Manager. Use your Samsung developer account. If you don't have one, you can create one for free. The certificates will be created in Samsung Certificate Folder. Open Tizen Studio Device Manager. In the Remote Device Manager, right-click the device and select Permit to install applications. Optionally, you can try installing the WGT file that we'll build later using the install app function. And before proceeding with the installation, make sure to uninstall any earlier versions of Moonlight without the certificate from your TV. Unpair the device in Sunshine. 
the PC host software because there's a bug where repairing doesn't work if devices were previously paired. Now, we'll build and package the Moonlight app. Follow these steps. Open command prompt and run these commands one at a time. Note, if you want to rebuild the app later, you can delete the build folder and repeat these steps starting from creating the build directory. installing the app on your TV. Now, let's install the app onto your TV. Navigate to the widget directory. Verify the connection. Your device ID should be listed. Install the app. Launching Moonlight. After the installation, you should be able to launch Moonlight from the TV's app section. We've added some extra features if you want to test them out. Stats functionality. While streaming, press the remote control's yellow button to toggle the display of stats like frame rate and bitrate. Rendering interpolation defaulted to low latency. We've changed the default from ultra low latency to low latency. This means streaming at rates above 60 Hz should be smoother. However, higher settings can put more strain on your TV and PC. We plan to add a toggle between low and ultra low latency in the future. Updated bitrate calculator. The initial page now has an improved bitrate calculator to help optimize your streaming settings. Merged Upstream Branch. We've incorporated the latest updates from the Upstream Moonlight project. Experimental Features. 5.1 and 7.1 Audio Modes. These modes are available for testing. They might not work, but feel free to try them out. 144Hz Support. You can experiment with 144Hz streaming, though it may not perform optimally. 120FPS Clip Added. We've included a clip demonstrating 120 FPS streaming with picture clarity, motion interpolation turned off. Here's what we typically use when streaming. Resolution, 4K, bitrate, 30 Mbps, frame rate, 60 FPS, HDR, enabled, audio, stereo. We enable picture clarity on the TV to enhance the motion smoothness without overloading our hardware. And that's it. If you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to leave a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and happy streaming.